What is GMX? In this video, we will cover everything you need to know about Arbitrum's biggest decentralized protocol. We'll do a deep dive into how their main product, Perpetual Futures, work, as well as some of the mechanics which enable it to work so well. I'll take you on a tour of their user interface and show you all you need to know about trading Perpetual Futures and swaps. We'll cover their tokenomics and the yield farming opportunities available to users. We'll cover their reward mechanisms and what makes GMX yield so lucrative. And finally, we'll discuss the implications of their protocol to the Arbitrum ecosystem. Without further ado, let's get into GMX, the Decentralized Perpetual Exchange. GMX is currently the largest protocol on the Arbitrum network by TVL or Total Value Locked, a measure of the amount of money locked into smart contracts on their protocol. The GMX protocol is an exchange where users can make spot trades or speculate on asset prices using perpetual futures and swaps. The main attraction of the GMX protocol is their perpetual futures product, which allows users to take on short and long positions on a handful of assets with up to 50x leverage. In order to better understand this product, let's break down all of its elements. Perpetual futures are a type of financial derivative instrument, meaning they derive their value from an underlying asset. In the case of GMX, perpetual futures derive their value from the four assets that are tradable on the platform, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Uniswap, and Chainlink. By trading derivatives, users make a profit or loss based on price movements of the underlying asset being traded. Trading perpetual futures on GMX functions practically a lot like trading spot, but has the added features of being able to take on bigger positions. To take on larger positions, users can borrow money from the GMX protocol by locking up margin or money locked up as collateral. The money users are able to borrow from the GMX protocol comes from a native multi-asset pool, which currently has close to $400 million worth of liquidity. This pool is composed of an index of the tokens available for trade on the platform, as well as a few stablecoins. This is done in order to ensure that there is always liquidity for users who want to exit their positions. All of these tokens have a different utilization percentage in the pool to ensure that there is enough liquidity for users withdrawing profits in different assets. While we are on the topic of payouts, another thing to mention is the payout for shorting and longing. Users making money on short positions will receive their profits in stablecoins, while profits in longs will be distributed in the respective token the user was trading. When choosing an amount of leverage to take on for your trades, it's important to consider that there is a limited supply of liquidity for longs and shorts. You can see the available liquidity for borrowing by choosing which side you want to trade. Unfortunately, users will have to pay a borrowing rate fee as well as keep in mind their liquidation price if they do trade on leverage. What is liquidation price? By borrowing funds, users take on more risk with their trades, risk which is retained by the protocol. If users are losing hard enough on a trade, the GMX protocol will automatically recall their loan funds as well as the collateral users must lock up in order to acquire these larger positions. Another important mechanic to talk about is their asset pricing. In order for prices to stay consistent with the rest of the market, GMX uses an index of price oracles for each asset to determine asset prices for their own protocol. This ensures that assets have a secure, consistent pricing mechanism and aren't exposed to too much risk in case one of these oracles fails. Now let's get into their UI. Their UI consists of a chart showing price action of tokens, as well as a menu where users can make trades. In order to trade on the platform, users must make sure they have connected their wallet to the protocol and are operating on the correct chain on which they have funds. Below the chart, users can see their open positions, orders, and trade history. The trading menu allows for three trading options, which are perpetual shorts, longs, and swaps. Users are able to use market, limit, and trigger orders to make trades on assets. Below the trading menu, users can check information such as what a current entry slash exit price would be, what the borrow fee is currently, and the available liquidity for borrowing. The asset chart functions like many other asset charts, where users are able to view asset prices on different timescales and view some statistics about recent price movements. It also has a variety of assets to look at. 
Overall, the GMX UI is a pretty straightforward and easy to use user interface, making it great for beginners and advanced traders alike. Let's also cover the GMX tokenomics. GMX has two native tokens, GMX and GLP. GMX can be staked by users in order to receive escrow GMX, multiplier points, and ETH slash AVAX rewards based on the chain being used. 30% of fees generated from swaps and leverage trading are converted to ETH slash AVAX and distributed to staked GMX tokens. The GMX token has a floor price fund which ensures that the token will always have some value. This fund consists of OHM bonds as well as fees from the native GMX ETH liquidity pool which ensures that the fund slowly grows in value. The protocol automatically converts fees from GMX ETH into GLP ensuring not only consistency of value for the GMX pool but also liquidity for their GLP token. This fund also has a buyback and burn mechanism if the floor price fund divided by the total supply of GMX is less than the market price. GLP is the other side of their tokenomics and offers a few benefits for holders of the token. Holding GLP generates escrow GMX rewards as well as 70% of the platform's fees distributed in ETH or AVAX depending on the chain. GLP's main use case is serving as liquidity for traders taking on leverage on the platform, so holders of the GLP token benefit when traders are losing and lose when traders are winning. GLP itself consists of an index of assets which are used for swaps and leverage trading on the platform. GLP as an asset is used across a lot of Arbitrum protocols to give users added yield, so even on the Arbitrum network this asset is quite important. Now let's break down the rewards available from staking your assets, escrow GMX and multiplier points. Escrow GMX has utility on the GMX platform because of its two use cases. Escrow GMX can be staked to offer users similar rewards to staking normal GMX, or it can be converted to GMX through a vesting period. Each escrow GMX staked will form the same amount of escrow GMX and ETH slash AVAX rewards as normal GMX, making it great for yield farmers. In order to convert your escrow GMX into normal GMX, users must vest their tokens for one year. Multiplier points are the other reward users will receive for staking their assets. Multiplier points benefit users who stake their assets for a longer period of time. By collecting multiplier points via staking, users can increase their exposure to platform fees. Each multiplier point will act like a GMX token for increasing APR of platform fees for your position. When exiting your staking position, any GMX withdrawn from staking will automatically burn a proportional amount of multiplier points from your position. To conclude, I want to mention a little about the implications of the GMX protocol on the Arbitrum ecosystem. As previously stated, GMX currently has by far the largest market share of money on Arbitrum. Their tokens are used by other yield aggregator protocols to maximize users' yield, making them even more ingrained into the system than is visible through statistics like TVL. They are a core part of Arbitrum infrastructure and I'm sure will continue being one of the best places for users to trade on leverage. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos covering the Arbitrum ecosystem, please leave a like and subscribe as it greatly helps my channel. Until next time and stay safe out there.